New England Gardening here. These are cucumber plants. I think some squash plants. And they were in pristine condition and something is now devouring them. I brought these plants inside. Uh, tried to make sure there was nothing on them before I did. But they're still getting eaten. And I know what's doing it. Let's take a look. Oh, what do we got there? Look at that guy. That's the cucumber beetle. Look at the freaking damage they do. They're eating machines. I don't know where they put it all. So let's talk about cucumber beetles. So here's the damage that you can expect to see. Here's the tail, tail signs. Look at this. It's almost like they don't even eat through. They, they have this munching on the layer and they just go right along. And what I did is I was disturbing these plants before I brought them in, but I knew that I didn't get them all. And they're quick. They start flying away and they're hard to grab out of the air. And I, you know, I, evidently there was still some in here. <clears throat> now that's, the cucumber beetles half the problem because uh, they carry viruses and bacteria. I think this guy here is a goner. They ate the, the emerging uh, leaf here. I don't know if something else is going to come off the end here. But they, ca they carry these wilting diseases too that will completely kill your cucumbers and your squash plants. So look what they did to my Turk's turban overnight, almost like overnight. And then the uh, first leaves here, man, they had a field day with these things. You can see all the chunks they've taken out. Like a certain layer there. So hopefully these are going to recover. So here's what the culprit looks like in relationship to a penny. I don't know if this is uh, a juvenile or if they get a little bit larger than this. As they progress, but uh, let's take a look. You can either say it's black with yellow stripes or yellow with black stripes. So as soon as I saw the damage and found these beetles, I sprayed with an organic pesticide I had. But uh, I don't know if that prevents. That's not going to prevent the damage. The damage was already done. Uh, best way to prevent it, I guess, is, you know, you could use row covers. But if you plan on doing, you know, some vertical gardening where you have cucumbers on trellises, you'd have to have some more elaborate type of enclosure. Uh, and uh, they have traps that you can use, uh, sticky traps. Uh, there are trap crops. There's a baby blue Hubbard squash, like everything else. Uh, insects prefer something, so if you plant what they like to eat, uh, they'll go for that instead of, uh, you know, what you're trying to harvest. And removing all the old vines at the end of the season uh, will prevent or lessen the amount of cucumber beetles the following season. Mulching helps. And um, also delayed planting. Uh, I guess depending on the life cycle, of the pest and the cucumber beetle, uh, if you delay planting of your cucumbers, uh, then there be there'll be less cucumber beetles around uh, when those plants emerge, so there'll be less damage. But uh, for now, this is what I'm dealing with: some cucumber beetles, and I think I'm going to purchase some traps. Maybe look into uh, getting some row covers. I'm not certain. But this is New England Gardening, and these are some of the pests that uh, you're going to have to deal with. And hopefully they're not going to completely destroy what I have, but they've already done some damage. So, cucumber beetles, keep an eye out for them. Thanks for watching.